Welcome back, Pokemon fans. My name is Angel of the Night 091, and we have made it to the Tag Tree Thicket. Now that we're here, there is a Team Starfall base just up ahead, and a lot of new Pokemon for us to actually go through and capture. So the next Team Starfall base that we're going to go up against is the Navi Squad. I think it is Navi Squad. And uh, yeah, so that's where we're going to go. We're going to see what's going on there. Let's just hit the plus sign, make sure that we actually called it correctly. I think it is Navi who is the leader here. So we're going to go up to the base. We're going to bypass all of the Pokemon in this area for now. And uh, although there is an Impidimp over there. Oh, do I want that Impidimp? Yes, I do. I really want this Impidimp. <laughs> Except I think we got the cutscene. Thanks a lot. No, I want to see the boss of the Navi Squad. Take me to Don Atticus. Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care. I'm not leaving till you let me talk to Don Atticus. Give me a break, you little doofus. <laughs> I'm going to say hello. Hi. <laughs> I, as you can see, I still can't really lift my arms very well. <laughs> My arms are so sore. Huh? Oh, great. Here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star newbies would be this much of a chore. Hold on, Mr. Grunt. I think this boy might be Cory. Wait, Cory? That kid who picked a fight with Team Star? Yep, that's me. Hi. I knew it. Oh boy, this ain't good. Everyone else in the base is still asleep since we're up late night playing up late last night playing video games. Yeah, no one does that. Come on. <laughs> Leave him to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time for you to go wake up the others. Yeah? And what's in it for you? Don Atticus will be in danger if no one's here to help defend the base. I owe that man my life. He's my dear compadre. Compadre! <laughs> and when crisis calls, one has no choice but to rally to those dear to him, no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid, but thanks for the big assist. All right, you villain. If you're after Don Atticus, be prepared to face my wrath. <laughs> Bring it. Yeah! You were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Yusuf. Yosef? Yusuf? Dunno. Alright, it's a gulpin. In comes our shiny Pikachu. Let's go get a Terra and Thunderbolt, please. I really like the uh, Team Starfall audio. All right, here we go. Get that Thunderbolt. Terra Thunderbolt. Ooh, we've got the Paralysis. That's nice. Stockpile not really going to be able to do much for him there. Electro Ball, please. Okay, level 40 for Skeletors. I should honestly just maybe take Skeletors out of the party, but uh, we kind of need them to rank up a bit. So. 
Don Atticus, I'm sorry, I failed you. Corey, are you alright? I was standing watch when I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. <laughs> I got worried that maybe somebody or something had happened to you over here. Arg, no fair. You had backup this whole time? Is this boy one of the Academy's students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right, I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here. Corey, I'd like you to ask this boy some questions. Sorry, I'd like to ask this boy some questions. You go ahead and get started on the base. Might I borrow you for a chat, my, uh, my man? Don't worry, I won't bite. Definitely an old guy in disguise. Nice work dealing with the guard. Within the base lies Team Star's poison crew, the Navi Squad. Their boss, Atticus, designs the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands. The guy's also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad's Pokemon as you can until Atticus shows his face. Ring the bell on the gates when you're ready to kick off this phase of operation. Time to wipe the Navi Squad off the map. Okay, so for Pokemon, we want Pikachu. All right, here we go, guys. Let's go up against Team Star. Beep. Some kid locked out beating one of our sister squads. Now he thinks he can take us on. Time to give the boot, gang. Let's show this Gate Crasher what Team Star can do. And if you're listening, Gate Crasher, know this. Unless you can beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss won't lift a finger to deal with the likes of you. I mean, realistically, 30 Pokemon in 10 minutes is kind of a long time.
All right there. Right on. So as you can see, we actually were able to beat them all pretty fairly quickly. I think you only really needed a five minute time frame for that, but 10 minutes seems a little out of the norm. Not really out of the norm, but it just seems like a really long time to try to take on that challenge. All right, Atticus, let's go. Pray forgive my sudden entry. Tis I, Atticus. You're that scoundrel. Corey, I take it. You have some nerve barging your fangs. Sorry, bearing your fangs, a team star. Come, then, villainous wrench. Wretch? <laughs> wrench. <laughs> uh, a plunge into grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. On guard! Alright, Scun Tank. And let's go, Pikachu. Ooh. At least we got the paralysis onto that Scun Tank. This might be a Skeletor situation. Should have probably just gone for the Thunderbolt instead of trying the Electro Ball. Ah! Oh, Pikachu, no! Poor thing. Okay, let's go to Finizen. You can at least go for the Aqua Jet. I don't know where it found water, but it just went for the dive. Okay, we can't let Snom die. So we've got to we got to go to the Skeletors at this point. I don't like how it lowered the speed, but it should be okay, I think.
Okay, there we go. Downing the Starmobile. <laughs> what a ridiculous vehicle. I mean, I, I really like the Team Star story. It, it's really nice, but I mean, I kind of really like the um, evil organizations, you know what I mean? Like Rocket and stuff like that. It just seemed like a better ad addition to like stories. But uh, with this one here, for example, like with their backstory, I mean, it makes sense why it's all based around schools and stuff. So Atticus, forgive me. I took a I took a goodly time to procure the required materials. Mella, whoa, sick. These boots are insane. Ah, yes. The move Flame Charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. I merely wish to create a costume worthy to worthy of the great infernal Eerie. Eerie? Eerie? It's a weird name. If it aligns with your vision, then I am content. Seems our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up then. Thanks a ton, Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sorts of crafty things, Atticus. Those people bullying you because you geek out over old-fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. I never expect nor desire sympathy from the unrefined rabble. Oh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out. Our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. All right, gang. Let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs into our battle training, so we're all prepped for Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, henceforth, I will devote myself, heart and soul, to honing my battle skills. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to you. Take this contraption too. It contains the technique that allows one to cover their foes in gunk. Gunk shot, all right. Corey, is thy name, is it not? You have utterly bested me, but thy victory stirred no bitterness within me, such as, such was its brilliance. My compadre, it seems this little fella has been dying to speak with you face to face. Don Atticus, please hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way here? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were all able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay. We've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We've no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. You evidently trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, not one of us has met them in the flesh, but their own word they are a recluse, as we, sorry, as with the rest of us, twold seem bullying was to blame. I wish they would just have just regular sentences in this game. Like some, God, this is so hard to read sometimes. That's awful. Though their name and face be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrade. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the base. 
awaiting the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school. But, but still, don't even think that Team Star is all you have done, Atticus. You've got a lifelong compadre in me, and don't you forget it. My compadre? I owe you a great debt. It seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy and the bullying at the Academy, but more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about these issues students are struggling with. They have friendships, they hold dear, and reasons for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. It's shameful how oblivious I've been. Ha! Huh. I believe Team Star to be one be the one and only treasure in my life. Methinks I may have been mistaken. Ah, oh, just regular words would be great. It would be great if they said, I think I may have been mistaken. That would have been easier to read than methinks. Like, come on. Who talks like this? Who talks like this? <laughs> Alright, I know there's a gimme ghoul around. Corey, it's me. I take it that Atticus's star badge is now in your possession. I see. Now that this boss has been taken down, the Navi Squad days are numbered. Atticus. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there again. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP to your phone as promised. Sweet. Use those new TMs to strengthen your Pokemon even further. I'll have a supply unit rep meet you shortly to deliver some bonus materials too. Uh, hello, it's me again from the supply unit. What? What the heck? <laughs> what? What the heck? Hey, stop that! Somebody help! Blah! It drooled all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? I have no idea what it is. Huh? I'm amazed you're so calm with a giant question mark of a Pokemon at your side. Uh, but... Before I forget, here's your reward. Um, your name's Cory, right? Since you're part of the Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? They're pretty strong. Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was push back against these bullies they couldn't face alone. But uh, that's just info I got by hacking other students' social media accounts. I also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses, someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. Hmm, I don't normally talk this much. Now, my throat kind of hurts. So, um, good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. Alright, so we just took out the Team Starfall. Uh, looks like there's a Gimme Ghoul right here, so we're going to get him. And I think this is going to be the end of this episode here. If you guys enjoyed the episode, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to post your comments in the comments section below. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day there today, and I hope you all take care. Peace out.